Canada Bangladesh Education Trust started in uh, 2012 as a not for uh, as a not for profit organization. Applied for a charity, first time got uh, rejected. Second time, yes, with our collective efforts, with the guidance and leadership of Dr. Imdad Khan, it worked out, and we get approval for uh, charity status on uh, 2014 January 1st. And uh, we have been since 2013, uh, we have been doing uh, fundraisings and uh, raising funds in many ways via um, Ramadan dinner, annual fundraising dinner, um, um, picnics and stuff like this, so and, uh, many, many things you will see there. But um, plan the seeds for tomorrow. That's the slogan, right? Giving education. Today's kids are tomorrow's uh, leaders. Then that's what CBT is trying to do. Guide the leaders for tomorrow. Groom them up. That's what we are doing. Let's move on to next. Yeah. Thank you. So change a life by giving an education. I didn't do that by myself, neither him. We all did it together. Collective effort. As of today, with everyone's support, we have supported 1,165 students in the last five years. They are, and uh, mostly they are from the rural areas in the village, kids who cannot support their education, uh, uh, kids from very um, um, uh, low-income families, and so on. Let's move on. Okay. okay, now, this is, by the way, I'll not, go to, I'll not read it because this is dry. It will be posted on the website at cbet.ca. And uh, this is only part of the report, and you'll be seeing on the website. So l let's go with the vision very quickly, and mission and all that. So our vision is to make education equally accessible for needy students and convert them into useful human resources, right? And the mission, let's go to that, again, uh, help the underprivileged, and again, mostly done in, uh, in Bangladesh, and uh, in the rural remote areas in uh, in, in, in Bangladesh. And also we do support t with only 10% of the funding in Canada. We give uh, to different five different high schools uh, five scholarships, irrespective of religion or race or gender. Open for all these five scholarships. And uh, uh, principles, honesty, openness, fairness, accountability, almighty God. He can see what we are doing. If we are doing any misuse of, your, of the money, our donors are donating. And inshallah, I can tell you that. Your don donation was never misused or misinvested. Wisely, rather, it's wisely invested. No, a little bit more, a little bit more, go back. No, no, go back, go back. Okay. And, account, and then I said, uh, of course, we have to follow the uh, CRA rules and provide service to the community members. Again, respect everyone's views, values, I, any values, any ideas, if anybody comes forth with that, definitely we take it. We take it, we consider it, we try to implement it. Any ideas today, you'll be, we'll be very happy if you can email it to us, info at cbet.ca. It's at, at the bottom of the banner, you can see that, or call us. Oh, I see. So the number of scholarships, in 2018, we awarded 245 students. Each student are getting $200. No, 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 stay, stay. Each student are getting uh, two, um, $200 to 49 different educational institutes in Bangladesh. It's not only in one area, it's across the country. And we give 4,000 taka in Bangladeshi currency to the school to uh, hold an award ceremony, take pictures, they send us all the pictures, they send it to our, uh, um, the another organization called Shurobi, they send the pictures and the documents we, uh, uh, courier service, there is a cost involved in it, so we give them a small amount, 4,000. But we'll be, from next year, we'll be reducing this amount from 4,000 to 2,000, and the rest, 2,000, we'll be investing towards the scholarship funding, which is our purpose, right? And inshallah, with your support, in 2019, we have sent $50,349 in Bangladesh. This is the highest amount we have ever sent. 
And uh, this was only possible with your generosity. Okay. And you can see different schools and different educations. Again, it might not be very clear here. I tried my best. Just to make it visible, these 49 institutions are here. The, the, again, the report is on the website. Uh, you can see it more nice, nicely. It will be uploaded there shortly. And, uh, okay. So this pie chart shows in different districts we uh, donated. <coughs> and uh, for the ge uh, gender segregation, I'm very happy to announce. I can see, actually, uh, more ladies are here today. Uh, than, uh, than male attendance. So it is 55%. Uh, we are also for women empowerment. Okay. This, show, this chart uh, shows the scholarships given throughout the years. 2014 at the bottom you can see. Can you? Uh, just one second. Yeah. In 2014, it shows we have given 89 scholarships. That's how we started, only 89. 2015, 119. 2016, 169. And uh, 217, 278. And uh, 200, uh, 2018, 250. That includes Canada. Two forty was 245 for um, Bangladesh and five scholarships for Canada. And 2019, 255 for Bangladesh and uh, five for um, Canada. And uh, so what it shows there, the growth is going up. Again, it's all with our collective effort. And I, I thank you everyone for your support. And we hope you'll continue doing so. Question. Okay, very good question. Uh, you will see in the next chart, you, uh, the, the slide, you will see the amounts we raise. Okay, that when you convert the dollar, based on that we get the money there, right? So sometimes converting, yes, it, it is uh, sometimes less. And so, um, so unfortunately, even we have no control over that. Okay, but next slide will give your answer even uh, more. Any question about this one? Any questions? No, okay, all right. Okay, so. What we did, what we raised, 2014, first year we get the charity, we sent to Bangladesh $10,000. Uh, 2015, tripled, 31,000. 2016, 51,000. Five times more than 2014. Together we did it. Uh, 2017, 45,000. Uh, Dr. Shahed, did it answer your question? Yes, thank you. And uh, because it was 51,000 and 45,000, right? So a little bit less money. Maybe we need a little bit more donations. We'll try to collect some today. Okay, get your, uh, uh, your uh, plastic ready. And uh, 2018, 50,349 dollars sent to Bangladesh. Okay. Okay, that's uh, CBET guarantees to award scholarship to any orphan students upon proper validation. Because orphans are the most needy, who needs the support the most. And we guarantee that the orphan must get the scholarship. And for each, as I explained, uh, we give um, some, uh, some money for the uh, award ceremony. For each school, hold uh, uh, award ceremony. There's one picture here. We have uh, 49 uh, from 49 different institutions. I didn't put them all here. So it shows that what are they doing, how they're delivering, they're giving the money. And by the way, the check the students receive, it goes in their name. So nobody else can cash it. No chance. Validating scholarship. We are here, they are there, right? And uh, we have somebody who's uh, processing the scholarship. He's, uh, uh, his name is Abdul Mateen. He lives in England. He's, a volu he's volunteering from the UK, from CBET. He's a former judge. We went to school together, university together. 
and he uh, resides in London, and he is uh, processing the scholarships. He's so dedicated. He is calling, contacting each and every college, giving them a reminder, validating, talking to the students. What did you do? What did you ask questions? Validate, like asking about the income for the parents. Many questions he asks. He talks to parents too, to validate. So yes, the validation in place. They just fill up the form. We are not just giving the money. No, it doesn't work like that. It has to be going to the proper process. Okay, uh, now I take a break. I will request a uh, CBET accountant, and he's one of a CBET executive. I'll go through that process uh, later on. Uh, Brother Akas Ali, he's a CPA. He's, uh, he's working at, at the Federal Government of Canada. I'll ask him to uh, present the financial uh, report. Thank you. Welcome, Brother Akas Ali. Assalamu alaikum. This uh, year 2018 was our most ever successful year in six years of CBET uh, history in terms of fundraising. If you could see, if you are to see here, you see that in 2018, CBET collected $110,000, 455 from all sources. This is uh, about $17,000 more we had in 2017. Uh, in 2017, we collected $93,000. And out of this, $110,000, you see, mostly came from annual general fundraising dinner. Annual fundraising dinner, and this is $23,000 against um, 21,000 we had in 2017. If you see on the bottom, the middle section of this, we had um, 14,688 14, was expenses. And these expenses is from this fund, this funds, and mostly we spend this money for the community outreach programs. Only this is 13% of our total collection, but out of this 13%, 3% we spend for the um, administration purpose and 10% of the collection went to the community outreach programs like uh, all those agents like picnics, and, and other charitable uh, organizational expenses. On the bottom section of this slide, you see we had $50,000 $50, sent to the Bangladesh. It's for a scholarship purpose. That was in December 2018. And this was uh, $45,000 was in 2017 we spend for the scholarship. And this line you see the summer job payroll. This is one of the uh, great initiative as in CBET took. CBET took that CBET in collaboration with the federal government service, service Canada from their summer student jobs program CBET was able to get them three students payroll for summer times in 2018, and that we had uh, uh, four students in 2017, summer students. So this helps those students to prepare their universities. And uh, 2,500 we spent for um, Canadian five uh, scholarship 500 is the same as we did in 2017. And at the end of December 31st, we, used, we, we had uh, $33,791 closing balance that we brought forward in 2019. And I hope this 33,000 will grow up to 150,000 with our generosity and donations this year. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Okay, this is one of the um, uh, award ceremony pictures for one of the high schools in Ottawa. Each uh, scholarship uh, recipients uh, got $500. Okay, so again, it's only $2,500 we invested in Ottawa. And we invested 50000 there, so it's 10% of that, even less. Actually, less than that. And uh, we hire uh, two uh, summer students. We are, we are grateful to our honorable MP. His assistant is here. Please convey our message on our behalf. Uh, two summer students uh, we hired, and they earned over $3,500. They did a lot of tasks on CBET issue. And we assigned to them, and uh, that's good. And at the end of the summer uh, uh, intern job, one of our MP uh, came forward, and uh, he gave them certificates. He honored them, uh, students from SNMC and CBET which could be used as a good reference. Fundraising. I'll request M. Dadbai to come here. Uh, sorry, Akasbai. Go see M. Dadbai, uh, Dadbai, and he will give you the machine. And, uh, okay. Annual fundraising dinner. As I explained, we do annual fundraising dinner. We do many events. So annual, like uh, for example, we, we did annual fundraising dinner this year at SNMC with huge attendance from members of uh, different communities, and we raised over $30,000. Again, it's all collective effort. May I go back a little bit more? Two slides there, actually, yeah. And then we did uh, Ramadan after. We had about uh, 300 guests here, and uh, yes, we raised about $16,000 on Ramadan iftar. Hmm. Fundraising at uh, Friday prayer. We are uh, actually grateful uh, to uh, Dr. Imdad. He invests a lot of time on Fridays. I could not go. I have to, I, I'm at work. You know, it's difficult for me to take time off. So he uh, gets many uh, volunteers. Uh, sometimes even br our brother Wahid, he helps us out. We thank you so much for that. Brother Zulfikar, who's not here, plus many others. And um, our main uh, target is now raise funds with low cost, low resource. So whatever we raise in different mosques, in Canada mosque or... Um, it, we about about seven or eight mosques, or every mosque we go to raise funds on Fridays. So there is no cost involved in it. Okay, so that's that's very efficient way to raise funds, and uh, and uh, f raising fund amount is very good also. Thank you. And online online fundraising it's um, continuously growing via CBET website with PayPal, and also there is a website we are registered with CanadaHelps.org. We are getting some donations uh, via that uh, website. CBET publicity in Bangladesh. Uh, national uh, TV stations, local newspapers, many of them are publishing in the national news, the uh, local newspapers, and uh, many TV stations are um, uh, showing, uh, public, uh, doing publicity about uh, CBET scholarship program. I'll request Brother Muslim to click on the link. Can you? Is it possible? And we'll go to the end of the link. The new, the, at the very end of the link, you will see that. Will it open? Oh, I see. Uh, there is no, um, okay. Wi-Fi. No, no, we don't have Wi-Fi here, so that's okay. It will be on the, huh? Yeah, please do, go ahead. We'll, we'll, take, a, we'll take a pause. <coughs> yeah, yeah, okay, he'll give you the password. Okay. Can you give me the password, please? <coughs> so how was lunch, everyone? It was good? Okay, lunch was uh, provided by uh, Salon Kebab, who is our caterer for the years. And uh, he's not here today, but he's, he's also, he's not only, he not only caters, he uh, donates heavily uh, towards Sibet. So he's not only taking, he's also giving. So may Allah give him reward for that. Just to be in the Apple, there's another way you can raise funds. Okay. Thank you. Okay, next. We are also on the way of developing another app which will be uh, more dynamic. And uh, our volunteer, Brother Muslim, he's working on it. It will be released really soon. So now, community volunteering. We uh, recognize everybody for any uh, community works. It's not necessarily for a Bengali community. We recognize from different communities. We recognize everybody for the work they do. Oh, Brother Wahid was one of them. Say hi to everybody. 
for, for his wonderful job he's doing. Just a message and send him an email and that's it. He's here to help us. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll request uh, Doreen Babi to say hello to everybody. I'll request uh, Doreen Babi to say hi. Stand up, say hi to everybody. She, this family uh, has been working with us r in many ways. Also, where is Majadap? I request Sister Majadap to stand up, say hello to everybody. Thank you so much. And uh, OK. I have one brother. He's supposed to come, but he could not make it. Brother Shakil Ahmad from uh, Masjid Bilal in Orleans. Uh, but due to some other engagements in mosque, he could not come. But anyway, so that's good. And uh, we, OK. OK. So yes, what is uh, uh, Ashraf Babi, Selena Babi, sorry. I was looking, yeah. The, one, an another dedicated, vivid volunteer. Thank you so much. OK, we do community outreach. We cannot only stay within ourselves and uh, you know, make donations and stuff. No, you have to go out and meet people and things like that. For example, we went to Ottawa Muslim Women Organization, led by Sister Nazira Tarin, very well-known person in the community. We go to our event, Ottawa Muslim Women's Organization. And also, uh, we join HCI events every year. We work very closely with HCI also. Okay, I have many complaints coming. I am not recognizing all the volunteers. As I say, we all are volunteers. You all are volunteers because you are here today. You volunteer to come today. You are not forced to come. You are not obligated to come. You are here you're because you volunteer to come and thank you so much for that. And somebody was saying, I am not recognizing my wife. Of course I do recognize her. If I was not recognizing her here, I won't be able to uh, talk today what I'm saying here. So thank you so much to Naina. Thank you. And other, other sisters too, thank you. Okay, uh, attending, uh, we also attend uh, KME annual dinner. We, we try to support others as much as we can, but we, if, if we event uh, attends or much fundraising and things like that, no, we do with our personal funding. We donate our personal funding, okay? And, uh, but we attend on behalf of CBET. And attend MCC annual dinner, Muslim Coordination Council, which is uh, President, uh, president is now brother at Rana. He used to be the president of Masjid Bilal. And uh, we went there. Also, we attend another one, very successful event. Actually, it's, it was really different. It w I was really amazed by uh, um, Sukara. There is an organization called Sukara. They take many projects and support many projects in Bangladesh. They did a kite flying event at the Andrew Hayden Park. Believe me, I went there. I had to drive around for 45 minutes to find a parking. And uh, th we went there. And pictures are there. Okay. Also, we attend uh, many times with the invitation of uh, um, um, federal MPs to Parliament, different occasions on Eid and etc. And uh, Brother Shahid, he went with us. Thank you so much for that. We are grateful to Honorable MP Chan uh, Chandra for inviting us. Please convey our message on our behalf. And Brother, uh, there is another MP with the green tie there. He is uh, Brother Omar. Actually, he is a Syrian refugee. You know, he came from Syria and he settled here and he's very successful and he's young. We attend con I, I lead conference to do networking with different organizations. Actually, we attended uh, uh, yesterday with uh, Brother Muslim and uh, Brother Azim. Where is he? Oh, I think he's busy somewhere. Uh, yeah, raise your hand, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for that, for being with us. And uh, we raise some, f we raise funds there. We talk to many other organizations, mosques. We get some commitment uh, to get future donations. It worked very well. Okay. Who's who's in Sibet? Let's go to that. So Dr. Imdad Khan, who is the president, he's the founder. Okay. He, who gives us ideas, how to move on, how to uh, how to uh, how to do better. He's our mentor. And uh, myself, Fakhru Zaman, I'm, I call myself a volunteer. I don't, I, um, I don't care about the secretary and the title or anything. I'm a volunteer. But the title is secretary. I try to do as much as I can. Uh, Shamim Usama Choudhury, he's a new Canadian. He's new here. When you come to Canada, you are new. You don't have any weekend. It applies to me. It applies to all of us at the beginning. So today he's wor at work. He could not be here. His uh, wife is here. Kids are here. They're helping us out. So he's the treasurer. Uh, Sister Asma Khan is the wife of Dr. Imdad Khan. She's one of the board members, but uh, due to uh, ill health, uh, she could not make it. We pray for her quick recovery. 
Now, we have a, uh, we have a new uh, tier called CBET Executives that's recently we created. Uh, Brother Akkas Ali, who um, did the financial uh, report presentation. He is our official accountant. All the payroll and financial report, everything is done, being done by him. And I, I explained to you about Brother Abdul Mateen, uh, who is living in the UK. He's a volunteer. He man he's um, managing our scholarship program, selecting the students, etc. Of course, via our approval. We are approving it at the end, but he's processing them. Also, we have Abidullah Jan. Sibet is not, as I said, it's not limited to Bengali community only. We are with everyone. He is from Arabic community. Mashallah, this brother is doing a very good job. He maintains our website. He's our webmaster. Uh, Tawfiq al Haq. He's, a, he's our student ambassador. He is not here today we due to other engagements, social engage engagements. Thank you. Connect with us. Give us ideas. Write on our magazine. Connect with us via info at cbet.ca. Send us an email. Go to our website, www.cbet.ca. You feel like to make any donation with your zakat, sadaka, anything, anytime. You can go to cbet.ca and make a donation. We have Twitter accounts. You can also connect with us via Twitter. And uh, of course, we have a Canadian Dream magazine. We have over 3,000 subscribers for the magazine. Over 3,000. Sorry, I'm not sticking in my same place. Yeah? OK. And uh, we have a Facebook page. You can always visit that. We, I, I do all the postings there. So it's all updates are there, too. Thank you for being with us here today. Without you, it won't be this program. Simple. So I thank you on behalf of Seaboard, on behalf of all the members. Next. Okay. We have a new scholarship program structure we have designed. It is called Sibet University Scholarship Program. Say, for example, uh, 245 students get in 2018, they'll be going to university, right? And we have designed, it's not posted on the website yet, but it will be posted on the website. So they will apply. If they, if they meet the criteria, they will be getting scholarships. So 20% of 245, say 50, 40, 48, 48 of, or 49. So we'll give them scholarships, but we'll be giving them Mm, 15,000 in Bangladeshi Taka, which is equivalent to say about $300. So we'll be continuously supporting them first year, second year. And that's it, we are done. It was not boring, eh? right? Hopefully not. I, and thank you for your time, for listening to us. Now we can do socialize. Thank you so much. Anybody wants to say something, few words? I'll request Brother Shahid Siddiqui to come here to say a few words. Anything you like. Welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for inviting me. You, I've gone through all the reports, and I'm very much happy. You're doing a good job, and I request everyone to support wholeheartedly actually give a monthly donation and we will commit also to give you monthly donation and thank you very much um, the report was good too thank you. i checked the financial report thank you very much bye, bye thank you so much yes we have pledge forms actually if anybody wants to uh, make any commit or monthly pledge you can fill up the form it's there we have it in the front on the table okay i'll request brother irfan to say a few words something he is from Istan, from, um, from my mosque. <coughs> On behalf of Istan residents. Yeah, why not? Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Irfan. And uh, I work for a bank uh, which is primarily deals with foreign exchange. And I ran my own foreign exchange company for about 26 years. And we primarily dealt with NGOs, non-governmental organizations. And the amount of work you guys are doing, I'm uh, really up halt with all the things you do. And uh, I want to support you in uh, many ways in uh, 
they're simply donating some money. And I mentioned to them that uh, I would take on their account in the bank and uh, give them not only much better exchange rates, but also no service charges. It's my commitment to you guys. Okay, keep up the good work and God bless. Assalamu alaikum.